This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the start of my pulse unit that I'm getting ready to construct. This is a test unit is 16 inches tall by 6 inches across. The plates are about 5 and a half inches across by 12 inches long. They're stainless steel, 0 0.028. This is the unit I'll be testing to run alongside the 3LR1000 units. What I'm going to show you is my lab and the new electronic equipment I'm putting together for this. If you have orders for the 3LR1000s, do not fear. I am building them as fast as I can. It's taking about four or five days from the time that PayPal shows the transaction for me to send it to you. If you have any other interest, you might try the website hydrogentaptap.com. Got a lot of this posted and a lot of information on the hydrogen systems. This is a picture of the electronic side of the lab. Those are the two uh, 555 sockets that go to the pulsing unit. That's part of the timing circuit. As you can see, I'm trying to put change this lab over so I have more electronic space. This is a picture of the front plate for the board, the pulsing system. I'll show you the back end. I'm taking my time putting this system together because I want it to work right can see there's the back that's holding the pots. A good picture of some of my meters. I have about 15 of them. You'll see them scattered throughout the lab. It's my feeling you can't have enough meters. The 3LR unit, here's a picture of the motor that's going to power the alternator that I'm using now, or I will be using. I just bought this alternator. It puts out about 110 amps. That should help a lot keep me from having to use these chargers. Good picture of the lab with the faceplate of the pulsing unit there. I used to try to clean the lab up a lot for some of these videos, but I've given up on that since I'm doing too much work in it. And I don't have the time to do that. It's another view of the circuit, one of the circuit boards that's going to go into the pulse system. Again, those are the 555 logic chip boards there. There's a good so a real picture of the lab in the new, in the new tube I have up there. Remember, I'm using plates, not tubes. I still believe the plates and the amount of space that we have to use it is the answer as far as surface area. Again, if you have want to see some more information, go to hydrogentap.com, tap.com.